given right around before the start of the race now. Here, so. Been doing it the last couple weeks. Is Jeff Burton driving that thing? My speed boss. That's him for me. Uh, the pace car to roll. Oops. Yeah, I went early. Yeah, pretty it's sure. It's all good. Is the uh, pace car starting to roll? Rare occurrence. Yeah. From our radio uh, by Mr. RP. Yeah. Mr. Hey. Penske came on the radio there. That was good. That was uh, might be a first time RP's been on our show. I found that one. I don't know why I found that one to be so funny. Because mm. <laughs> like Brad's like, are they? Is NBC giving pace car rides? I have noticed that the last couple of weeks yeah. that the NBC car will go around like while we're strapping yeah. in. It's the joy ride with Jeff and you can find that wow. on NASCAR.com. Uh, <laughs> each NASCAR. week they take, they take somebody else around the track and uh, give them the experience of going at high speeds around the NASCAR circuit. Who they take it over. I'm not sure I didn't watch Just a fan. Well, in, in Richmond, they took that wrestler girl. She's like a WWE slash singer oh. person. They take people of some sort of uh, right. caliber, yeah, right, and give them a ride. List and, celebrities, yes, yeah, yeah. They mm. are on the list, and mm. it just like to me that whole exchange was kind of funny. Of like, and then RP comes on mm. and says, "Jeff Burton, that Jeff Burton doing that? Like, sure <laughs> is." <laughs> you know, RP was country. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. That? that is uh, <laughs> his his actual accent is more. Uh, yes. So is I, I, I am. <laughs> Roger Pinsky, I, oh. I own many things. <laughs> was he on Brad's box in the horse? Uh, he's up in the spotter stand. Yeah. Oh, he was in the spotter stand yeah. was where he was. Yeah, he always, does, he's does, always he, up um, the spotter stand. Does he have like three radios and monitors all three, or does he just switch between the three? Uh, does he ever get on your channel? He has, yeah, he was on our channel a lot at Dover. Um, I don't know if he has... I'm guessing he has three radios. Yeah. Uh, that or you can scan everybody. Yeah. Like you can pick yeah, the you can channels you want to scan, but I'm sure he has three radios because he... We'll talk on all of them. Does he give yeah. you any strategery? I mean, he's a race strategist for Will Power on the IndyCar side. Does he get the same inkling on the NASCAR side? Is he ever like, um, is he ever like Jeremy, tell him to do this? I don't think so. Not that I hear, at least. Oh, okay. I don't think he'd ever. I don't think he does that. Interesting. He was just talking to me about some stuff, and <laughs> things, and so encouragement. He's like, just dying. How's Sturgill? Hey, Ryan? <laughs> hey, Ryan, how's Sturgill doing? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, Dover. 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 It was a race. It was a good weekend. Uh, Kyle was, won. Uh, the weather was nice. Yes. Oh, it felt like beautiful fall, That's crisp. Something. Friday and Saturday were sunny and crisp. Yeah. Sunday was a little bit little bit warmer, mm-hmm. but overcast, which yeah. was nice. Um, it's been a long time since it hasn't rained. Yeah. Up yeah. in Dover. Yeah. Anytime we've been there. A lot of Monday races we have there. Yes. And luckily we didn't have those. It looked like it was going to rain on Sunday, but it was just like overcast conditions. Just overcast, there was just, no uh, rain just, anywhere uh, just, in the forecast. Just clouds, no this, moisture in the clouds. The uh, skies were gray like the concrete surface of Dover. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but not gray like the gold monster that they had. They did have a gold monster. Yes, they did oh, have 50, a gold monster. 50 anniversary. So we confirmed yes. that it was the 50th yes. anniversary. Yes. Dover uh, did confirm. Dover. I was pretty sure of it. But um, yeah, it was 50. Yeah. And. Uh, I, I I think more exciting than the race finish was Caitlin <laughs> Larson's wife shot getting a beer in victory. She lane. and JP. That was pretty funny. It like took me good. a second because didn't they have that thing a couple of months ago where yeah where yeah. she shotgun a beer yeah. like on a wake yeah. board or something yeah. mm-hmm. which led to a couple more people yeah. shotgunning beers and then boom did in victory lane. lane yeah it looked good. like I couldn't figure out where they were they looked like they were kind of hiding though there was like something. they were off to the oh. side yeah they were like no, off so to the side the way victory lane is is a toit it's it's toit there's yeah. the the risers where the photographers stand there's pull the car in there's the wall and then there's the area where you stand with the trophy yeah um yeah um and they were it looked like they were back by that back wall mm-hmm. uh, sort of mm-hmm. where the front of the car would be mm-hmm. you know the right front of the car. yes yeah. right did you guys uh did you uh were well, you you weren't a i was not uh, i was at a reenactment uh, oh, oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, another northern one virginia yes uh, look if i'm not <laughs> really honestly in the past like six months <laughs> if i'm not at the track I'm You're at a reenactment. Mm. That's just the way my schedule is. A soldier. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we did soldier. a ration issue. We issued oh. rations. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind of rations? We had some side meat. <laughs> what about a, some biscuits? No biscuits. We had bread. We had fresh bread. Oh, bread. fresh bread. Fresh bread. Yeah, like fresh homemade? Bread. Not homemade. I ordered it from uh, Nova's here in Charlotte. 
Nova does a good job. Yeah. Is it like literally it was, just it was, like salt, yeast, water, flour? Right. It was loaf bread, mm-hmm. like just basically a French loaf. Uh, I forgot to tell them not to like score the top of it. So you were at so, a Northern Virginia mm, reenactment yes. and you were eating French, French loaf bread. bread. Yes, yes. Wow. We were classy. Mm. We were mm. classy. Had some coffee. Sounds like a traitor material. Some, uh, yeah. You, mm. you, were you sure you weren't wearing a red coat? Huh? No, no. Huh? It, it huh? was. It were was, you? It was. Uh, blue, well, no, that was the gray. British. It was bluish gray. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, French for blue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Oops. I uh, believe actually maybe the French helped us out a little bit. They did. Uh, they did. They, okay, they, so you can not. eat the French bread. You can eat the French bread. The, the French are one of the reasons why we are America. I'm using all yeah. the facts I learned from Except for the, the French Patriot hate us, movie. I feel like. They, you know, they don't hate us. It's because mm-hmm. they hate us because they ain't us. <laughs> <laughs> We about got a spit take, literally. Um, careful there. They no hate way. us because they ain't us. They hate us because they ain't us. The accent. Yeah, no, no. I know exactly what I did because no. that's from uh, the interview. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a great movie. movie. Yeah, it's a great really movie. Really funny movie. Um, no, but they we're we're so similar. We're actually similar to France in our uh, beliefs systems and such that like that's why everybody's like, ah, oh, France, screw France. I yeah. like I like France. Statue of Liberty came from yeah. France. That yeah. was a gift from them. We have a very uh, special relationship with the French. It goes back many, like many years. Yeah. I like their attitude. I like their cuisine. Mm-hmm. I like their coffee. We bailed their like asses their out of two world wars. It's true. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> world War One. we came in at Getting the end. was like, deep. hey, yeah, look, we got it. Yeah, look at what we did for like two years. Yeah. Anyway, after they'd been fighting for a while. There's a new movie coming out called 1917 that looks like it's going to be kind of badass. It's a Sam Mendes movie. Mm. Um, oh. And period. it's about uh, movie. Oh. World War One. Well, and the British in World War One, and these two guys movies. going to. But it's the way they oh, shot yeah. it. Apparently, they they did a lot of like one shot takes. Oh, where it's, you have to do it in one shot. Yeah, like, like it's or it's it's continuous, like a continuous like, shot. So like you're pulling like all those. it in a war movie. What's like the that's uh, kinda, music video that's one continuous? Sh- um, and it's like a uh, uh, what the freak are those yeah. called? The machine you made them in high school. Well, Rube Goldberg. Rube Goldberg. Oh, oh like machine. all of the. Uh, I believe it was a Puff Daddy song. No, that, uh, did a one continuous. Show. No, 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 no. I know what you, it's it's OK Go. It's, yes. Yeah. It's OK Go. It's OK Go. It's the the band. They their videos are always like weird, sort of mm. like one take sh- stuff. Yeah. Or they do like they were the ones that did the treadmill thing. Where they yeah. danced on the treadmills ah, and like, yeah, that yeah. one. Okay. You would yeah, recognize yeah. the. Yeah. You would recognize the. Here video it goes I'm again. About. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, the yeah, other yeah, fun yeah. one mm-hmm. that uh, mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. did, the one take thing was Birdman, the movie Birdman. <laughs> I was thinking the, Birdman, like from Har- uh, Harvey rapper. Birdman, the rapper <laughs> oh. Birdman, <laughs> or Birdman who used to play for the Miami Heat. Yeah, or, Bird, or that Birdman. Anderson. Yeah. He's all tatted yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Mohawk, Mohawk, uh, blonde Mohawk. I never saw Birdman the movie. Um, Birdman was good with was, Michael Keaton. Yeah. 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 It's good. It was a good send up of his version of Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Speaking of Batman related things, I saw Joker that's, last that's week. That's what I was yeah. trying to get. We getting there. Shoot, we were getting there. Get, we were getting there, but then yeah. we got detoured. Yeah, but we got there. How was it? Did you guys see Joker yet? No, not yet. I want. To I see, see it. all these movies, and you guys are like, oh, I haven't seen it yet. And then I asked like two months later, you're like, No, I still haven't seen it. I get busy, man. I get busy. How was the Joker? I've seen mixed reviews. I don't know. I've seen mixed reviews. I thought you went. To, I thought you said you went to go see it. I don't know. You're not going to talk a about it. A lot of ce- okay. a lot of celebrities have stepped out when when there's been like a poor review of it and said, "No, you don't understand." You don't understand to, Joaquin how, Phoenix. How to take in this movie? I thought it was good. Uh, it definitely interesting movie. Really. Um, some parts of it, I was like, "Well, oh, okay, wow." Uh, really. Like the last hour, you're like, "Oh, whoa, oh, okay." You're selling happening. it to me. This You're selling happening. it to me. First hour is like, okay, I get where this guy's coming from. Mm-hmm. I, I see his struggles. See what we see what his life is. Okay. Then the last hour you're like, oh shit. Damn. It yeah. got real. It got it got real, man. Okay. Um, I thought it was a good movie. I think it leads into future films as well. Okay. okay. I didn't realize they were making a film just for Harley Quinn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Birds of Prey. Yeah, with with uh, uh, Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. Oh. Oh. Margaret. Just a moment of silence for her. Yeah, but it's yawn. She's um, so hot. She is. She is. She is. She is quite attractive. She's Australian too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. accent. It's her and like uh, Rose. Rose Byrne. Is it Rose Byrne? Rose. Byrne. 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 Rose Byrne. She was in uh, yeah. Neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's also, also in Australian. Bridesmaids. Yeah, yeah. Is she? she is she really? Australian? Yes. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I guess yeah, I only yeah, ever yeah, I, I only ever about. hear her talk in a, an American accent. She was right. an insidious. Just yeah. like Christian Bale. And it's it's one of those things like when those two talk in their native tongue. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Please continue to their talk. Native accent. I want to yes. move down there. I want to go hang out with you too. Down uh, under. Uh, it's a. Uh, My best friend lives down. Down under. under? Yes. Under. She down married, under where? She married an Aussie. Oh. And she's no. pregnant, no. so her kid's gonna have that great accent. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully he doesn't get the American side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or like that a, weird like hybrid like American Australian accent. Oh my gosh. When I was in Puerto Rico, we talked to this girl Maria and she's Puerto Rican so she speaks perfect Spanish but her grandfather growing up made them watch movies so they could learn English. Did she watch West Side Story? But they made... No. Because her name is Maria. I know. And she's I from get Puerto Rico. It. Yeah. But they made, but he made her watch British films. So she is Puerto Rican with a British accent, and she was hot. So the whole time I was like listening to her speak, like, wow. Oh, I wow. Like oh. Isn't that interesting? So maybe I'll just, if I have a kid Love one that. day, make them watch British or Australian films. So is the fact that I watched a lot of Monty Python growing up, while well, I can do the British that's accent like, a bit better. That's a that's low class British. Right, it it's is, like but Cockney. I mean, it's still yeah. it's still it's a bit. The, I think that's one of the cooler British accents. It is. Yeah. Also, I watched Peaky Blinders the first couple episodes of the new season last night, um, which has got that the Peaky f- Blinders. Right, yeah. right, that's right. Like that's like a, a burly, like one twenty yeah, yeah. country, yeah, one twenty accent. Yeah. accent. yeah. yeah. Because they're like up a, from Birmingham. Mm. You put the colon in the wrong right, spot. I put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> <laughs> it's now one colon two <laughs> colon zero <laughs> instead of 120. It's 120 in the PM here on the Glass Case of Emotion. Your weather outside is currently 75 degrees and cloudy. Weather outside is frightful. <laughs> but that fire, boy. <laughs> so, so delightful. <laughs> too early? I don't know. No, no. We, well, we haven't made it to... Yeah, Halloween yet? Yeah, that's too early. This uh, is Halloween. I knew this the first of October, Halloween. people were putting up yeah. Halloween decorations. Which that's fine. Yeah, you're in the uh, month. That's fine. Okay. So it's like, like as soon as as soon as November starts, I want yeah. people to put up Thanksgiving decorations. The same with Christmas. Yeah, we used to December have to put start. like yeah. a a restriction on my mom that she could not start playing Christmas music around us mm. until after Thanksgiving. Because uh-huh. she would try and that's like. Fine. She probably is listening to it now. Your mom listens to podcasts? No, no, no. God, no. No, Christmas she, music. <laughs> Christmas music. Oh. She doesn't listen to this shit. <laughs> What's your mom's name? Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Yeah, she's not going to ever hear that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> she does not care what I do. <laughs> Aw. No, she does. She does. But she just, like, she's too uh, concerned about yeah. uh, Meals on Wheels and stuff. People That's who good. skip right over Thanksgiving, yeah. go from Halloween to Christmas, like, Come on, man. Yeah. No, it's not the best of holidays. What? Thanksgiving is the best holiday. Uh, Thanksgiving is... Mm, when it was fun and it was not the best of holidays, but it's one of my favorite. It's not really a holiday either. What, it's Thanksgiving? more of a tradition. Well, yeah. Thanksgiving well, see, is a holiday. I just, I just like it. <laughs> it is a holiday. It's a day for thanks. No, you know the story Gratitude. behind Thanksgiving. When, wh- which well, story? Yes, which story? Where we're supposed to break bread with the... With the, yeah, the Native, Native Americans, Americans and that whole thing? Or yeah. like when Lincoln made the day of thanks during the Civil War to give... Thanks for all of the hard effort. Uh, no, I thought it was peak. the deep, deep, like when we broke bread with Indians, but we didn't really like break bread well, with them. That's, it was like that's, fake... that's the narrative that we've started to put yeah, out. Yeah, but it's not it's real, right? Oh, God, I mean, no. it was kind of built on it. I wish I could tra- time travel just so I had actual knowledge of what happened and I could just dispel the original, all like, the rumors. The original Thanksgiving yeah. was probably like... a like, massacre. The, no, no, no. I guarantee you the first couple of, uh, you know, groups that came over here, like, made, tried to make friends with some of the Indians and be like, oh, so this is how you plant corn and this is how you plant... So I do this and I do this and I can get this. Yeah. Cool. All right, that's mine now. Yeah. I thought that's what it was Yeah, made it's of. probably like basically the first couple ones are like, oh, show me how to grow crops here in this new land. <laughs> and now I'm going to take this land from you. Yeah. Mm. Not, Did you do they <laughs> still dress up in grade school? In grade school, we dressed up as pilgrims and Indians for Thanksgiving. We had like a Thanksgiving know. play. We learned songs too. Yeah. What's well, like Columbus Day is no longer like really. It's Indigenous People's Day? Yeah. Co- Columbus was a. That's coming D-way. up on Monday. And th- that's, Wasn't that's, it? Monday? Like, Columbus was a son of a bitch. Yes, not, he was. Not, like, son like, of a bitch. He got lost. Yeah. <laughs> and tried did. to say that, you know, he this was area in was India. And it's yeah. like, what the? No. No, and, that's not how this works. You know what was the messed up, messed up part? It was like, yeah, he, we thought, he thought this was India. 
And he got here and was like, hey, is this India? They're like, no. <laughs> no. But like, you're still you're not Indians? Indians. <laughs> like, no, we're totally different people. They're like, nah, you're Indians. Yeah. We're, we, <laughs> I stole that from a Louis C.K. stand-up, by the way. Uh, he has a great riff on Somebody's got to be pushing America. his material because he can't <laughs> yeah, anymore. <laughs> hey, Louis C.K. Uh, he had a rough spell. He did. Yeah. But was he was pretty... funny back in the day. Like five years ago, he had some good yeah, stuff coming Before he yeah. did that whole uh, well, it was a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That whole thing. Those uh, things. Speaking of meeting up with people. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> swipe we night? Talked swipe about night. swipe night. Yeah. And how did that go for you? So. Did you partake or did you just watch? I did. No, I, I, I partook. Okay. Um, and I'm going to. Number one, the acting was atrocious. So it was like a movie. Uh, yeah, it was like a five-minute little <laughs> scene, <laughs> series of scenes. What was the they, scenario? They spend, so the scenario is there's basically three hours till the end of the Earth. There's a comet that's supposedly passing close by, okay. and then it actually breaks into the Earth's atmosphere and starts to thing. They send out an alert that says impact imminent within three hours. kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, the concept, like, concept, cool. Application, the acting was so terrible. They should hire uh, us. We could probably do it. Yeah, we could have done good. We could have done good. But the other thing is, I will sound old saying this, the choices, like swipe left or swipe right, it wasn't like down the middle. It was diagonal. So like if on the bottom corner, so if, if this is your, mm-hmm. actually, let, you know, this is your phone, yeah. right? There's a diagonal down here. You have a choice here and a choice here. If you pick this bottom choice, which way do you want to swipe? Right. This way. You want right. to swipe this way. Yeah. Right? yeah. If your choice is up here, you want to swipe that way. Yeah. yeah. It was the opposite of that. What? So I made the wrong choice on a couple of them that probably make me look like a complete oh, douchebag. Everybody, everybody F that up, yeah. I bet. I bet Until I saw purpose. that they had the little hand down there and I was like, oh, wait. I bet they did that on purpose. It so was, Chuck's like, kill all the people. Well, no, I mean, like they had options like, like do you save, some a, of the... save a person or save a puppy? Oh. Is it a person I know or a puppy I know? I think it was just a random person and a random puppy. No, oh, it, was, it was the puppy of a friend. It was the puppy of a friend and then a random person. Oh, no. Oh, that that's puppy. Yeah. I'm going to have Sorry. to go puppy. Yeah. And then it's like, do you go back to your friend's house or do you go down the streets alone? Like stay in a house or wander, basically? Basically. Or stay in that house, dog. Yeah. I don't house. know though. Didn't you see War of the Worlds? They come for that. They come to the houses too. Yeah. Did you watch? Uh, was it uh, the one with Danny McBride and? Uh, this is the end. This is the end. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they they stayed in the that. house. That that didn't end well. What is that little pupper? <laughs> Burroughs oh, sent no. a uh, crying puppy. But oh. we say I, I chose I, 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 I chose to save the puppy. We all yeah. saved the puppy. Um, I think it it actually shows on there what the choice. Well, but the, I could not honestly get past the. Acting like that really, they, it really threw was it like me. bad porn. Yeah, like, and there was one. One of the choices was <laughs> I didn't order this pizza. <laughs> Who ordered this pizza? Did you call a plumber? Extra meat, right? Mm. You want me to look at your pipes? <laughs> um, <laughs> it might not oh show it on here. I don't know. No, there we go. So it was uh, save the puppy versus save a person. Stay in the in the moment or post about the comet. Like with a photo of your phone or uh, tell the truth or cover for Graham. So the tell the truth to Lucy or cover the Graham. Cover there were for only Graham. three questions? There were more than that. Oh, okay. But it was basically, these were like the three crucial mm. questions. Hmm. So, so who did you match with based on this? Uh, some like one 43-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Check and, likes them cougs. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I actually like, because it, it, it. Would you date a 43-year-old? That's a very tough position to put me in. Why? Um, because, I mean, yeah, I would. Um, What's your plus or minus threshold age-wise? Uh, um, half your age plus seven. I, could, I Yeah. I saw well, someone told me that. Hang on. Half Whoa, your age plus seven. The older seven. you get, though. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, so at 36, half my age is what? 18. 18 plus 7 plus is 7 25. Is 25. Okay, yeah, so that's probably youngest. about that's probably about right. That would be your youngest. Yeah. What would be your oldest? 25. You're 25. Well, 25. But see, like, so, so 25. Well, but like think about half your age plus 7 at 25. Yeah, 13 or 14 so that's 20 or 21 years old. Yeah. Mm, Which is like Yeah, I guess. Still. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah. I mean, if a lot you're of like, basic, if you're like a lot of basic girls, bitches you know, in that category, a girls, sixty-six-year-old, thirty-three—that's yeah. forty. And, it's not bad. and I, I have made this you argument. Date a forty-year-old? 
Oh. <laughs> it's like Kate Beckinsale. Yeah, She's older than that. Jennifer though. Aniston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like 50. Yeah. Yeah. All in. J-Lo, 50. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Jane so Seymour a couple wonder, of years you're ago. You're wondering yeah. how yeah. the package is still looking is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. I'm superficial. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I'm not perfect, but damn it, I'm looking for perfection. That's a good statement. Yeah. <laughs> Don't we all live by that? Yeah. It's like. Well, perfect is relative. It is. You find, you have to find what works for you, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, getting deep on that. Okay. <laughs> the harmonics on that right there. Uh, <laughs> You're doing that. So you weren't swiping right on the 43-year-old? Ah, uh, no, we matched. Did it only, oh, I did. <laughs> oh, did you, you did swipe right. Did you, what is the conversation hot, like? Was she young well, and I, fun? I haven't. Uh, My sister is 45, and she still brings all the boys to the yard, even though she's right. married. <laughs> She looks with like her milkshake? She, she's, <laughs> she looks like she's like 27. Ah. But the other thing is like with, with some of these, like when you actually like match like that photo. Oh, she looks cute. Right, right. Well, she's 48? Yeah. No yeah. Way. Angie's, hang on, hang on, hang on. Angie's doing well. Um, but then like you get some other ones and you're like, you know, okay, okay we're doing. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Big filter like we Wait. talked yeah. about last week. Yeah, yeah. And then like you, you're okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. And then. Meh. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so did she progressively? Yeah, it's went, you, you it front, went like this. Yeah, you front stack the yeah. profile, front stack it because like you're expecting not. You to can't actually... stack it all because at some point you're gonna have to meet the person, right? No, and no offense, you're not gonna fall in love no. based on a picture or a profile, no. right? No. So God they're no. eventually gonna figure out who you really are. Yeah. Like I try and go for a variety of photos that show me in my natural, in uh, your natural, element. natural state. Yeah. Which is reenactments. I mean, like <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. Charles. <laughs> yeah. That one. Oh, that's a dapper one. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, that's in, at you. again, natural state. Oh, look at yeah. that. Just yeah. short shorts yep. in the desert. Yeah. With natural a Natural state. Yeah. yeah. What you do. Yeah. There's yeah. no. Okay. You like football. Yeah. You're on the sidelines. Obviously, oh, you're important. Yeah, you're important. You got them. I what played trivia. Okay. Trivia. I thought that was yeah. cash. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cash, too. Uh, you play a guitar. Play guitar and sing. Right. Lead vocals and backup. And then. Oh, we did that. On stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's yeah. a that's, really a good strong portfolio. It's a good portfolio. Cross like section, good of, headshots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And what's that, it's, the an, most, it's a good representation. Of, what's the most frequent comment you get about your photos, or like the comment you get from uh, potential I get a lot of, suitors? I love your you. You look like you're fun. Oh, oh. yeah, uh, yeah, yes. Also, I use some quotes like you know nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition <laughs> from Monty Python. Yeah. If they get it, then yeah. If they get it, then like they're actually yeah. Now right. I have found that's like skewing more towards towards the older now. <laughs> There's right. not a lot of folks are watching the Python. You gotta like they do used like to. a like a Hannah Montana <laughs> or like a or SpongeBob or like yeah. Lizzie McGuire. Yeah, <laughs> which I've never seen, so I don't know how those you know would actually. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Hmm. You'll have yeah. that. Yeah, that will happen. That that's will good happen. though. That's, that's awesome. unfortunate the swipe night didn't work I, out. I, I will give swipe night this though. I am intrigued to see where the story goes. Oh, it continues. It's the it same does. story that it's picks the, up. Yeah. So like, it's, it's episodes. So Episodic. Yeah. It, it kind of worked. And then it's like, well, okay. I kind of want to see where the, like right. where the story goes. It's like a certain mm. TV show that came out recently that. <laughs> what? Bandersnatch? No. What? We were talking about it earlier. Oh, I wasn't in here. That you, 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 no, you were in here. The, the one that. You, when, you know, when you know when TV shows come up. And you can't, you think it's a terrible TV show, but, but like you you're drawn away. in. Yeah. Oh, you can't. porns? Bad no. Porns? <laughs> no. We were talking about it oh, earlier. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. I think oh, I know which one. They're so yeah. awful, but oh, yeah, you just yes. watch them. Yeah. It's like a train wreck. You can't. Well, a twin wreck. <laughs> a twin wreck. It's a twin wreck. wreck. You cannot look away. Sorry, yeah. it took me a second there. I know. I, I, thought, you meant, I thought you meant on the, on no. the show. We no, were no, having no. a little discussion before we went live on the hot mics. Yeah. Hot mic. Um, yeah, it's that's exactly. You get drawn in, man. You just do you, you get sucked into the vortex of. <laughs> bless you. I don't think you get drawn in. You're not interested in the thing. I think you're just. You're just like, how stupid can it get? How terrible. Well, it's, it is. It's, yeah. it's the whole train wreck mentality. That's what like, I'm saying. Yeah. You like to see people yeah. <laughs> train make train fools wrecking. of themselves. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, we should. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's go away from that topic and talk about this bar in St. Louis. Let's talk about an animation yeah. show. <laughs> Um, uh, did you yeah. see that? 
You so sent it. I sent it. So this bar in St. Louis. <laughs> Bless, Bless you. you. I got a allergic to bad shows. <laughs> dust, <laughs> dust He's allergic to shit. <laughs> to shit. Oh. So this bar in St. Louis, instead of charging by the drink, meaning like you buy a drink, you pay for a drink, they charge by the hour. So they're charging ten dollars per hour. But if you want top shelf drinks, it's mm. twenty an hour. I feel like this okay, is what a bad is idea. Top shelf drinks. All I know is it also Kavathiak. said to save money <laughs> that they would make Absinthe. it in batches. Absinthe. I don't want my drink from a batch. Like I like a handcrafted cocktail right. just for me. Yeah, the Selfish. batch makes me seem like the like excess it's like a college spill party on the I'm on the make, rubber mats is what yeah. they just like dump in a vat. Yeah. Go make us a whole, whole thing of PJ. Yeah, I think this. Um, and then old kegs, they just like pour old kegs is, in there. The perfect opportunity for the police to like set up somewhere to have well, a DUI stop. So now they did say that they scan your uh, ID and there's an algorithm that will take your height and weight and limit oh, you wow. to oh, a certain technical. number of drinks so that you're not over the legal limit. Because like if you pay ten dollars, it's like let me get five of those. They're you probably not can do only that. order like, one drink at a time too. It would probably be like you're looking at if you pay ten dollars, it's probably like a. Two, it might, two drinks yeah. in an hour. Yeah. It might be a fun first date yeah. place. But so. like, if you if you think about those places where you can go pour the beer yourself, mm-hmm. which yeah. you ask for tips at those places sometimes, like why why, why? am I going to add a tip yeah. to my receipt because I did the work? Maybe that's like cleaning yeah. the yeah. nozzles. That's like right. beef I've had it like yeah. the melting pot. But like with those so places, stupid. it'll Terrible. cut you off if oh. you've poured too much. Oh. And when you think about it, if you're drinking beer, if you average what two beers an hour. Yeah. That's, I mean, unless you're trying to like just get hammered drunk yeah. in the front row to the Van Halen concert. Right. Yeah. I was talking about this with my friend Nicole, and she said in college, where she went to college, they had a place that did a penny till you pee. So you paid a penny per beer <laughs> until you broke the seal. Oh. And I guess like once you went, and I was like, how did they regulate that? Like, how do they even know if you went to the bathroom? She said, when you went to the bathroom, you got like a wristband either put on or taken off. So you were like identified. Huh. So like, or maybe it was a wristband you put on, and you had a you could do penny beers, but then once you pee, they cut it off. Cut it huh. off. Damn man. And I was like, cool. that's a good idea, except for I have this tiny bladder, so I would get like half a beer and be like, well, you, what you got to do is you got to dehydrate yourself before you go in, <laughs> and then you die. And then you die. <laughs> <They're> ridiculously <laughs> yeah. drunk. But yeah. I thought that was a good idea. I wish there was a place in Charlotte that did a penny till you pee yeah. or like pee the, nights. Pretty cool. The keg and used to have like nickel that. beers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The keg and Q, R.I.P. Yeah. Should have done that. I mean, their beer was that cheap anyway. I think oh. somebody's remodeling the place. Like, Ooh. I think it's going to turn into a uh, oh. fine South End establishment. Oh. Yeah. Well, now there's like yeah. I read somewhere there's 18 new bars and restaurants opening alone this month in Charlotte. Jeez, yeah. Who can keep up? Well, and between that and breweries and condos, I mean, that's pretty much all we've got here now. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that's my angry Charlotte. Nobody team, right? else can move to Charlotte. No, please, no one stay else. away. Stay away from Charlotte. We used to try and Don't sell come, it yeah. in no, Mooresville. Don't. No. Yeah. We are closed for business. Yeah. Go to Columbia. Yeah. Atlanta keep, just down the keep road. Keep going. Just Greenville. Yeah, Greenville. Greenville's a fun town. Greenville's great. Go ahead to right. Greenville. They got a great, you know, Actually, yeah, downtown area. Yeah. 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 Not North Carolina, South Carolina. Move to Raleigh. Yeah. Durham. Yeah. It's yeah. good. I've it's heard good Raleigh. Area. I've heard Durham's yeah. fun. Go to Wrightsville. Wrightsville Beach. Mm-hmm. Just keep mm-hmm. going to the Outer Banks. Just keep yeah, just, <laughs> just you know, what, go out into the ocean, uh, find an old yeah. like oil platform, lovely, port. and start you a city on there, and then yeah. you can be the forerunners of Waterworld. Yeah, you know, that was such a bad movie. <laughs> yes, it was, but I, I never saw it. it. Loved really? it as a child. Mm-hmm. Kevin I Costner mean, peeing into a Mr. Coffee and then drinking it. And then drinking <laughs> it. Classic. There was there was a great line from a Dana Carvey. Sp- comedy special when that came out. It's like, you can't pee in a Mr. Coffee and get Taster's Choice. Hey. Ugh. Best part of waking up is pissing in, your cup. pissing in your cup. <laughs> I had another way I was going to go with that, but I'm not going to say it. But you didn't. Mm-mm. Not so, going to do it. I'm not it, going to do it. It's I watched not another on. old movie the other day that was like a good childhood movie. I can't remember what it was. I watched the whole thing. Tombstone? No. No, Tombstone. Childhood no. movie. Top three movie of all time. Yeah, it was like a childhood movie for me that I Fern watched when I was a kid. Uh, I saw some movies that were not kid appropriate when I was a kid. Yeah. Like uh, Heat. It was. Top Gun. Heat. Heat was not yeah, appropriate heat. for a child. What was that movie with uh, 
that French guy and Natalie Portman where she's like the professional. Yeah, saw that as a kid. Oh, that was a great film though. Um, there was another film I saw that my friend's mom took us to. She didn't realize it was about like lesbian love. Mm. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, maybe it came with a B. Brokeback yeah. Mountain. That one. <laughs> no. Brokeback Mountain Two. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, what was? I watched Bound. Top, Bound. <laughs> Bound. I watched Top movie. Gun with my mom. And like most of that movie, that's fine to watch with a parent. Until the love scene. Yeah. And then it's like, well, this just got awkward. I can beat you. Yeah. I saw American Pie with my mother oh, in nice. like middle school. Solid. That totally. is totally <laughs> there was a lot of discussions nice. that she wanted to have after. And I was like, no, please no. stop. No, I'm we, just we're not curl having this. into a ball and sit over here by myself. Yeah. I don't need to have any of these conversations with you. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh. No. Said I can't remember that movie. American Pie? No, like oh. the movie yeah, that you watched like as I watched, a child. I, think I watched it yesterday or before we left what? for Dover. Was it a cartoon? No, it was a was action, it live action movie. Drama? Was it superhero? Was it rom com? Heavyweights. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it'll come to me. Uh, Camp Nowhere. No. <laughs> Just naming old like. Um, um. DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> DuckTales. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That was oh, a good movie. that was a good one. And then they killed it with Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. Honey. Which is a crazy, crazy was... title. Like, you blew up your own kid? <laughs> I put the kid in a microwave and it blew up. <laughs> I do love Rick Moranis, though. Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah. So, what's another uh, great Rick Moranis movie? Uh, Little Giants? Little, oh, I thought you were going to say Little Shop of Horrors. No. He's great, so great. He great in Little Shop of Horrors. Rick Moranis, you know. Is he still alive? He is, he is. He he moved, I think, I think Canada. He moved to Canada. His, oh. his wife passed away oh. and he Sorry, quit Rick. acting. To take care of his kids and give them a normal life. That's cool. So, like, the whole Rick Moranis thing is like, he's a stand up dude. Uh, yeah. Strange Brew, I believe he was in that. With, uh, <laughs> Didn't see that. The, uh, he used to be on what, SCTV, uh, like, good old comedy much. stuff, all the good Canadians and their comedy. Um, did you oh. see where What's It is going to have another season that show you, like, that cartoon, Rick and Rick Morty? And Morty? Yep. Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's coming out soon. Mm-hmm. The new season comes out very soon. I think November. Also, a new season of BoJack Horseman is coming out. Ah, no I never watched that. that but I, I saw a lot of previews good. for it. It's pretty good. They have a uh, Vincent Adult Man, which what? is three kids stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. What's the premise of this show? It's basically a washed-up '80s sitcom star who is half horse, half man, BoJack Horseman, uh-huh. um, and he <laughs> is trying to navigate <laughs> Hollywood as uh, a horse man. As a, well, I mean, he's it's there's a lot of like. Animals as people. That reminds me of the uh, State people, Farm people. commercials, the moto, what do they call it? Where the guy's half motorcycle, half man? Motor. Or mo- mo- yeah, mo- <laughs> motor. Like, Have you seen those commercials? Yeah. It's like, which would be better, the top half or the bottom and half? And he's like, mo- the one where he's like got a cup and he's drinking, and the guy's like, what's in the cup? And the guy's like, gasoline. Or asks <laughs> yeah. about like, and he's like, no, it's gasoline. Yeah. I was thirsty or yeah. something, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, but it's kind of like that. There's just, it's, it's a very kind of surreal... It. Um, because it's uh, what's his name? The guy Will Arnett plays Bojack Horseman. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Um, it's is got a he lot of, the top half horse or the bottom no, half horse? No, he is <laughs> he is a full on horse, but he just walks on his Two back feet. legs. Oh, yeah. he's a what a bi what's it called a bipedal bipedal? Like it is. He's a horse. Yeah, he's just a wears, horse. Oh. Yeah, horse clothes, but he just stands up and uh, it's weird. Yeah, man. gets drunk. Um, it's, it, it, it is very funny. Um, I would, I would love highly to be a voiceover it. artist. I, I know, right? Oh, Best job out there, man. Like, that's my goal in life is to just do that. It would be so fun. Allison Brie, Aaron Paul, oh, Will Arnett, Amy I Sedaris. I love Allison Brie. Paul F. Tompkins. Amy Sedaris is funny. Great cast. Great cast. Amy Sedaris? Yeah. Patton Oswalt's in it. That is a good cast. Yeah. Patton Oswalt is married to the lady that wrote that book about the Golden State Killer. Oh, Golden Which, State Killer. Her name's Michelle. Which is why everyone should spit in a cup and uh, you know send it off. <laughs> I to, still uh, haven't taken my ancestry. I'm going to do that this week. I'm well, going to do it tomorrow. Well, it puts you in the database, and that way, if you're a serial killer, they'll find you. I feel too dehydrated like to give enough spit, though. Unless yeah. like you got to fill up the vial. Like I always, I whenever I want to do unpleasant. it, I feel like I have dry mouth. You've been, you've been playing golf. I played golf today. You With did who? actually. <laughs> a buddy of mine, I noticed. Trey. I saw the T, and I was like, "Yeah." Mm. How is old Trey doing? Trey's doing well. Uh, he's doing okay. Is that old dog Trey? Yeah, he's doing decent. Okay. No. Uh, it's, it's... Yeah, we played golf. First time I played golf in 
a long time. Yeah. I wonder you, before shoot, the tea why you were so sporty. Yeah. How'd you shoot? <sighs> Not great. Are you a better putter or driver? I'm, I can I can drive a ball. Now. Clearly, he's a better driver. Nah. Uh, <laughs> but um, but um, uh, I wasn't even trying to be funny when I asked that. Yeah. No, I shot a 92. That's not bad. <laughs> Just 20 over. Why That's are you the, laughing? That was funny. <laughs> what do you shoot? I have not. I huh? have. I have not golfed 18 huh? holes in a long time. Huh? Wow. <laughs> laughing. Doesn't play golf. Yeah. I don't play golf either. <laughs> That's not actually the first time. I've actually played golf in Colorado about a month ago, but I haven't played I golf in I just like going years. to the driving range or the putting green, one or the other. No. I, don't, I don't know. I don't have the patience for. Night mm. putting with the dean's daughter. Um, I used to play. I just, I, I, I don't have, <laughs> I don't have the, yeah, I don't find the joy in it like I used to. I actually I like had to a lot of fun hit today. things hard. Yeah. Where it was just, me and Trey are probably the same skill level. Yeah. And uh, it was just fun to go play. What did he shoot? 93. I beat him. <laughs> That's what Matt like. That's you all go that matters. Out there and you're on par with a lot of the same folks. Yeah. Um. So then, I, then it's fun. Yeah. Like I'm not going to go out and play with someone really good. I'm yeah. going to go out and play with someone with, who's yeah. a mediocre golfer like me. And I, I'm, any I'm, I'm not going to say mediocre. I'm going to say bad. Who's a bad no, golfer? See, like but me. you're. I would say you're probably skill. A uh, skill. If you're shooting a 92, you're breaking 100. That's better than a lot of people can do. Yeah. I'm sure mine um, would be well into the hundreds. So I wouldn't say terrible. Average. I'd say yeah, average. average. Like, you also have to play frequently yeah. to be good at golf. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when I was, was fun when I played in high school, I was shooting in the 80s on average. And like now, if I go out, I might get in the 90s, like low mm-hmm. hundreds, low 90s, like mm-hmm. in that window. Yeah. But when you play regularly, that goes down. Right. Because you practice. Yeah. I tried to play golf a decent amount like five years ago, yep. and me and Bubba started playing a lot. I just never got better at it, and it was frustrating, so I stopped doing it. Bubba continued to play it. Oops. Oh. And uh, no, I picked, up, uh, picked it back up again. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to play a lot, but I think it's fun. I like to go out there and drink beer and hit things every now and then. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. probably had a couple. Uh, a little early this morning, though. We teed yeah. off at 8.30. Oh, Jesus. And I, I I didn't crack any. I had two, and I cracked one open on the back nine. I mean, you got to set your alarm nine. for that tea yeah. time. Yeah, that's why I've been yawning a little bit. It was mm-hmm. early. Uh, it was very early. But yeah, uh, had a couple. Yeah, back nine. Back nine. Back nine. Yeah, I'm not going to mm-hmm. drink a beer at nine in the clock in the morning. I mean, I, I might. I mean, if I was a weekend or day. something, I had nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have to come do this, and then. Go to other stuff and like. Eh, I think I'd rather have like, like a mimosa at that time. But you, uh, mimosa or just a, doesn't really seem like a golf, not a golf thing. thing. Yeah, it's like get you a Colorado like, Kool Aid and <laughs> hit you some dingers. So. <laughs> <laughs> going yard, hitting the bombs. <laughs> going yard, hitting bombs. Uh, I know it's uh, crushing it. Uh, 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 not Boston, but the New York Yankees swept. They did because uh, Boston is not in the. I know. Uh, <laughs> Boston, <laughs> yeah. Boston yeah. is a pretty close accent to New York. It is. Has it is. the Braves Cardinals series ended? No, they're tied no, up right, right now. They, don't they have? Yeah, Braves lost last tonight? night. I don't know if it's tonight or tomorrow night because okay. they got to go. They go back. back to Atlanta. Okay. I think it's tomorrow night probably. Um, so I they're just tied. Remember the sequence like two and two. I or think two Washington and, and LA are tied. I think. Eek. Um, I have to look. Chuckles is going to pull it up I'm for us. Pull up the playoffs right now. Oh, geez, that's a lot of oh, stuff. That going is, on wow. Right yeah. How many major league teams are there total? Mm, it's baseball that we're talking about. I don't know baseball. I mean, will. high 20s, probably. Baseball. I don't know. I, there's, there was, there was talk at one point that Charlotte could get a team. That'd be, well, I mean, the Knights are fun to watch. Yeah. So I think a pro, pro like a. Single A would be cool. Yeah. Single A would be cool. So, um, it's our fun. How? I don't under, I've never understood, though, why baseball players are paid so high. They're like some of the highest paid athletes, and all they do is stand around for a very long time. No offense. I mean, all NASCAR drivers do is sit in a car and turn a wheel. Yeah. I mean, but they make a lot more money. Than yeah. Us. They don't get paid like <laughs> 85 million dollar, dollar yeah. contracts. I mean, this is true. They are uh, for like four years, something. Yeah. And Silly. all guaranteed money, too. I, I forget what The Mike, guaranteed money is what gets... I yeah. mean, good for those lawyers oh, and agents that are getting that done. Happy for them. Like, Mike Trout but just signed the biggest contract ever. I think it was like four, guaranteed five years, money. like $240 million. Insane. Which is... I mean, he deserves... I mean, he's the best player in the baseball, but 
That's a lot of money. It's a and they sh- play a lot of games. Shit ton of money. Well, and they're also big internationally. Like baseball is no. huge True. in Japan. True. So like you're going to places where there's bigger market share. Yeah. Like if you have endorsement deals, yeah, that's where the money. Is. I mean, the highest paid players are actually they're soccer players. Yeah. Like football. Messi and like is it fo- football. football, which is why when you have uh, a kid, push you him put him in soccer. soccer, soccer or baseball. Yeah, although soccer or golf. Is... If you if you're good at golf, if you're good at golf, you're good at golf, you could pull in some some change. Yeah. but you get like the nice sponsors, like you get a Buick, right? And like Rolex, right. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh, Lincoln, yes. yeah, Lincolns. <laughs> I was yeah. picking my nose way before they paid me yeah. to drive a Lincoln before they told me to pay, drive one. What That's, are you looking up right now? Missed it. How many teams are in the major mm-hmm. leagues? I'm going to guess. 30. I was going to guess 28. 28? The price is right. How many teams are in the major league baseball? Did you say 30? I said you 30. You said 30. I said 28. 29. 29? That was stupid of me to pick in between you guys. <laughs> <laughs> there are 30. <laughs> yeah. Darn. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Damn it. 149. All Damn right. It. I got it. I was doing so good. How many teams are in the NFL? Oh, uh, less than that. I'm going to say 22. Is there more than that? 23. 32. Shit. 30. I would mm. not have. Yeah. I clearly would not yeah. have guessed that because I, I guessed wrong. Yeah. How many teams are in NASCAR? <laughs> I can count them. Yeah, I, I, I can count them. <laughs> Depends you, on what you're talking. How many cars? No. no, no. What's the field? What is the field set for for this? Um, How many NBA teams? Way more. Mm, oh, no. no. Way less. I'm going to go under. Uh, I'm going to go 24. Mm, 28. 30. 30. 30. Why do they all got to be the same? How many teams are in the MLS? Major League Major Soccer. League Soccer. Oh, uh, 16. I'd guess more than that. 25. 24. I'm bad. You got to figure it's got to be even. Bad at this. Yeah. You can't have an odd number of yeah. teams. You know, I would, you know that makes sense, okay? <laughs> you know, I didn't think of that. Who's going to play who? And who yeah. got one out. There's odd man out over here. That's <laughs> why. a bye week one time. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you always see when there's an expansion team, there's always two. Two. Huh. Which Charlotte uh, never even thought about is that. on the short list. I for honestly would not have guessed Major there's League that soccer. many MLS teams. That's kind of shocking to me. What about hockey? Hockey? Mm. Hockey. I'm going to go 22. How many hockey teams? NHL. NHL. You were just going to write Whoa. Hockey. Wait a second. Wait a minute. 35. 36. 31. Not They're breaking the rule. even rule. I told you those guys got off weekends. But apparently. <laughs> they need more off weekends because they lose teeth every week. Because there's a lot of hockey. They lose teeth every week. But it says 32 in 2021. Oh, who's getting a team? I don't know. Hmm. Nor do I really care. <laughs> I don't. Li- I mean, hockey's cool and all, but like, yeah. I mean, there's so many teams, and, or not teams, so many games. Baseball the season way. started. I was so bad at guessing. Hockey's already started. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Basketball starts up. I know. That's exciting. Preseason, preseason is getting underway. Charlotte's yeah. first preseason game is Wednesday, so when this podcast posts, Charlotte hey. Hornets. Tomorrow. Which this is going to be one of their worst seasons ever. I know. Kemba's gone. We don't have Kemba anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. They don't want to invest in our we good got, players. We got Terry. Terry Rogier. Scary Terry. <laughs> Scary Terry. <laughs> was it Space Retired? That wasn't even good. Um, didn't he retire? That used to be married to Ava Longoria. Wasn't he playing for us? Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Tony Parker. Tony, Tony Parker. Tony, Tony Parker. He, is, he, is he, French. Is, he is French. Is he French? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Is, that's why it's like, yeah, it's Tony Parker. <laughs> I didn't know he was French. Oh, yeah. We have multiple, I would say Tony Parker. French, we have uh, multiple Frenchmen, or had multiple Frenchmen. Didn't he on retire? Uh, did he? I think so, maybe. I think so. That sounds Yeah, we right. had Batum, didn't we? Yeah. Nick Batum. Nick, Nick Batum. Nick Batum. Uh, who else is French? <laughs> who used to play What's His Face from the Heat? Wasn't that a French name? Batum. Uh, <laughs> Oh, what the F was uh, his name? From the Heat? Yeah. Um, During the Heat heyday. Yes, he did retire on June 10th, 2019. Mm. Heat French player. <laughs> French Heat player. <laughs> his name is Le Heat. It's not, he's probably not French. His name sounds French. Oh, that is not who I thought it was. Manu Ginobili? <laughs> no. Manu. He's not French. Oh, well. Too bad. Boban. <laughs> Ginobili. Neither. Neither the B. Oh. B- 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 
Man the baby. In the beady beady booty. Batum. I think you're talking about Batum. Nick Batum. Nick Batum. Who played for the Hornets. Batum. Don't think so. Uh, we're off geez. in a weird anyway. accent time. <laughs> um, we're about done anyway. We're Thank getting God close. we're yeah. done. Um, high schools are starting esports teams. That's clearly, yeah, they should. That's <laughs> freaking crazy. Well, there's, a, there's pros. All right. I'm I'm saying it was only a matter of time, yeah. but in our day, remember, you were only allowed to play, like, your mom was like, you only get one hour of video game time, then you need yeah. to go outside. My mom told me I could only watch an hour of TV. I snuck in more hours of TV, and now I work on TV, so what the hell? So, like, Lucy. You got to, like, study your craft. VAD. Yeah, you got to study your craft. You got to yeah, watch Lucy. TV all the time. I guess. To know what makes good TV. Really close to TV. And what TV. makes bad TV. Mm. Yeah, like, right here. burn your eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But no, like, high school esports teams? Hell yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, NASCAR's getting into the esports realm. Like, you know, teams are, like, if you want to make it in the esports, yeah. learn how to do it. There just aren't that many colleges with esports teams now. Yet. I know, yet. But it's like, what's the... I guess you're just gonna go pro. It's gonna be like the like a lot of people. I think basketball wise, skip college basketball for whatever reason. Like they go high school to NBA. Who? More so Players? than yeah. I think more so they than have like to do one year in college yeah. now. One and done. Oh, they do now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They didn't used to. They're actually was looking at changing new. that up. Um, but to a lot, it was like now you, got guys. That you never saw that in the season. NFL. Yeah. Well, Why was there's that? a big difference in yeah. going one and done in basketball and going one and done in the NFL because. In basketball, you're you not getting hit. You didn't need to used to in basketball. Now but it's you required. you need to in football. Like, you need yeah. to continue to grow and be a full-grown man yeah. by the time you make it to the NFL. You or could woman. say that you mentally, though, on the it's mental Carly side, uh, and basketball players didn't have that, in terms of, like, maturing as a person. Oh, well, that, there is a whole other yeah, argument like for what the, the NCAA needs to do for so college athletes. To. They need to teach them money First management. First of all, they need to they fold need to teach and just them. start a new sanctioning body. Yeah, but if you teach kids, like, all right, you teach everybody else, this is what your career is going to be. This is how you need to do what you need to do to go into your career. Mm-hmm. Why don't they do that for athletes? They should. They do, but then little, they get in trouble for a uh, little guidance counselor. Yeah. yeah, well, not guidance. Like, have a course in uh, some some teams do money management. Some teams yeah. have like a course of of like these are the things that you need to pay attention yeah. to. Don't listen to your friend when he says he's got a great idea for a car wash. Yeah. <laughs> Don't lend people money. Yeah. yeah. You'll never see it again. Always it sign your own checks yeah. so you know where your money's going. That's right. That's right. Your signature, your checks, your money. Yeah. College athletes are getting paid soon. Oh, North Carolina's got a bill uh, South, looking I at stuff. South Carolina. North Carolina's oh. looking at it. Oh. Um, California. Past it's like. Yeah. It's happening. Yeah. Which is good. Which brings in a whole other thing. If, if yeah. one state does it. But the only, I do think yeah. they should be paid, but I think there should definitely be cap. Like, oh, there's definitely a cap. You can't be paying, cap. You can't be paying a college athlete millions of dollars. My fear is that like, it will create, if, first of all, I don't think all the players are going to get paid. Well, and you're only. The roster, like the whole roster is not going to pay it. And then it creates like a sense of jealousy between, like, you're still young and you're like, oh, that guy's like, our quarterback is getting paid, whatever. And I'm the running back and I'm not getting paid as much. Like, why? I don't want to pass his catches. I don't, I don't know. It's the same thing in college or pro sports, but I guess you're a little bit more. It's grown different because everybody's sports. everybody's paid. There's though, a in base pro. salary. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. I think it like I mean, some of the restrictions on the NCAA like for student athletes are like you can't have a summer job where you work X number of hours, which yeah. is completely stupid. Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, they need money, but also that's that and, schedule is grueling. But any other like if you're on a music scholarship. You can work. You could go out and work. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But if you're on a sports scholarship, you can't go out and work. Like you can't yeah. earn extra money. And that's just it's 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 bullshit, man. Yeah. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. People are like, well, they're already going to school for free. I'm like, well, yeah, they're okay, they're going to school for so, free. But their college is making a ton of money. Money. On these that's athletes. the problem. It's not the point yeah. that they're going to school for free. It's they get the free education. College yeah. is making millions yeah. and millions of dollars in because of their likeness. I think it's good. They just got to do it right, yeah. I think. You can't pay, like, a dude, a college kid, yeah. like, millions of dollars. No. And it means to be a cap. To play. Because then, then it's just going to turn into the NBA where you're like, hey, we'll give you $2 million to come play for our school. Yeah. You know, it's like, it, I don't know. I mean, they're already starting to let, um, it's just going to be, I think, agents come in. Ooh, and like, it's it, but it's fishy. But they have to get, like, they have to be registered with, like, oh, there's a... Yeah. 
system. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's a whole there's a whole thing. I we're not going to solve it here I on this show. Yeah, we're not going to solve it here. We're not going to solve uh, it. I don't think I think they they end up paying less attention to their classes too if they're paid. I agree. But why unless you, there's like very strict like why do you need to pay attention to the classes? Could if I'm going it? to the NFL, got to yeah. get education, bro. Well, a lot of times you if you if your GPA drops below a certain point, you are no. benched. But if if my job, if I know that my job is going to be NBA player, then they should have a course load that's specific to yeah. to what your point like. But when you do that now with the school, then it's like, "Oh, this is cheapening the degree of every other yeah. like when they like it's, Carolina it's whole, got in the trouble whole thing for is tricky. Like studies that weren't actual studies, they were fake classes. Well, there is like, some yeah. bullshit. That There's didn't cheapen anybody's degree that went there. Yeah. Like if there are improprieties at Alabama or Miami, yeah. is is your degree worth any less? No. You still, you know, still works for you. Tricky situation. Hey, Tricky. luckily we're not in college anymore. But no. <laughs> they do give preference. So, like, in at Miami, there was a class. It was like health, like some health class where it was like healthy eating and just like just, I don't know some yeah. bullshit. And I took it just because I am interested in health and fitness, not realizing it was all f- all athletes. All athletes, but they get preference for those classes. So that's the problem. Like they get yeah. preference for those for those classes. Didn't you over? Che- didn't you cheer? Them? Yeah, I cheered in college. Yeah, so that's technically an athlete. I got a stipend. Yeah. I didn't get a. You're an athlete. I was, yeah, I was yeah, part of the athletic yeah. department. Yes, yeah. got to use the trainers. Got to uh, See, use the getting facilities. Getting all the benefits. Getting all the benefits. I only got a five hundred dollars stipend a semester. That's more so than some people. It's true. I got no. Stipends I had an academic in scholarship though, so yeah. eat it. I didn't get a stipend either, but you have a, a race card. Now. I didn't yeah. go to college. Your yeah, college is life. Yeah, I, oh, You're from the school of the t- hard knocks. TikTok hard knocks. Speaking of hot knocks, you want to hot knock that button? Really I can't hot knock that button. <laughs> Maybe pass oh, it over oh, to you. Trying to put it right in your lap. He right tried to put you. it right in the lap. I gotta hot knock that. I turned down the volume on the computer. Oh my gosh, he's got there a new computer. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There you go, baby. Like this freaking. No, I got I got a new phone too, and it takes like. Forever. Do you have the new uh, yes. eleven? Oh, yeah. the three. Oh, That's like a dead giveaway. You can totally tell now. Yeah. Before you like couldn't really tell the models. Now you got a spider. Now it's like gonna do a little cock fishing. <laughs> with your new lenses on your phone. My, uh, my new lens. Yeah, my new, new wide lenses. lens. Changing the game with that yeah. lens. You got a zoom. You got normal. You got wide. Yeah. Uh, really wide. <laughs> really, really, really wide. wide. Game changer, yeah. guys. Yeah. Game changer, yeah, everybody. You want it really deep, not really wide, but that's just me. Nope. All right. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it, okay? <laughs> just enjoy it when you get it. Speaking uh, of that, big one on the, the boulevard. big one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of big ones. Yeah. We got one on the block. I'm excited. Yeah. Pumped up. Big one's always fun. Uh-huh. New infield and garages at Talladega oh, this yeah. weekend. Looking forward right. to that. Really pumped up to see it all. Uh, Portnoy, I think, is back out there this Portnoy's weekend. Portnoy's back out. Oh, Duggar yeah. is playing Friday night. Okay. Tim Duggar's playing Friday night right after Big One on the Boulevard, so make sure you go see him. Yeah. Riley Green is playing Saturday night in yeah. Talladega. It's going to be a good weekend. It's going to be great. It's going to be grand. All three of us will be in Talladega, That is I true. Lovely. So uh, you might get the rare triple oh, shot. I had a kid that was under the age of 10 yell glass hole at me at yes. Dover. Weird. Incredible. Yes. No, Weird. that is amazing. I love it when the kids yell glass That's hole. That's an awesome parent right there. <laughs> yeah. Keep Good doing parenting. parenting Good right. parenting. Rate and review on iTunes. Bye. <laughs> Chuck wanted to say something else. But <laughs> <I did. laughs> that was like, <laughs> it. Good go. That was a good <laughs> close. Yeah. Rate review on iTunes and... Uh, uh, Wipe right on me. Wipe right. My name's Charles. Wipe night. Yeah.